Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 2 of the New World Iron Man series, starting off in Weaver's Fen for the first time. Oh, Hidden Stash. I don't know why I'm getting so many of these per day. I'm definitely getting more than three. It's Maybe it's a low-level thing, I'm not quite sure. But I'm surprised the main story is even letting me go this far. I'm only level 24, and I'm not complaining because it's great XP. But eventually, when it does hard block me, and it will, until I reach a certain level, I'm planning on just going skilling for a while in the episode. You do get XP for skilling, so it's better to do it before you hit level 60. And as an Iron Man, I think it would be a very wise move to have my storage sheds just stocked up with the essentials. And plus, harvesting is a blast in this game, you guys know that. God, there are so many resources in Weaver's Fen. I am 100% getting 100 mining this episode. Yeah, plus I need star metal tools, so I gotta work on engineering a bit, too. Well, hold on, steel tools. Slow down there, bus. I still have iron, I forgot. Ah, good old Weaver's Fen. I, would, I wouldn't count this as a hard cap, but maybe a soft cap. Maybe I don't belong here. Oh, God. So we obviously need an insane amount of green wood for engineering, and we're currently at 8 logging, so gonna do a few trips, and we will see what we get to. Alright, last tree of the trip. Probably gonna encumber me, but we are ending on a healthy, yep, oh, barely encumbered 0.1 pounds, but we're ending on almost 44 logging. They really did increase the speed of this, they used to be miserable. I'm so excited to get into the later stages of this account where I can get the refining sets like the woodworking, weaving, smelting set, and everything like that. But I think some of those pieces are from like Imperial Palace, so they're quite a ways away, but I'll do half so I can level up first and then do the other half and get a higher yield. <laughs> okay, 39, sure. Yeah, 3% more doing it this method. But yeah, those refining sets, man, those are going to be such a priority for this account. Alright, trip number two done, and we are up to a very healthy 58, almost 59 logging. I had recorded the 50 milestone perfectly, and right when I hit record, a semi-truck in front of my house blew his horn, so I was like, that's just life, I'll get the clip afterwards. But we can cut mature trees now. I'll be using the aged wood, we have 300 of it. I'll be using that for charcoal for our higher tier ingots, and I'll be using the green wood for the timber to train our engineering. Looks like we did it. We got over 1,000 timber from that session. That is awesome to see. 1,000 is a good point to move on to the other materials I need. I need about 250 coarse leather and 170 linen. I should not have made this a teen last episode. I should have just kept the linen, but it is what it is. It's okay. We got to almost 70 logging from that. Super happy with that, but it's time to go do some skinning and some harvesting. I'm out by Fisherman's Bend just harvesting hemp, and I think we're done for the trip, but I killed one zombie that was on me, and it dropped me this hat. Too bad monsters can't crit, huh? Don't think I'll be doing much PvP on this account, but I'll wear it. It looks cool enough. I came all the way to Awful's Grotto, killed some lynx, and I don't even have 25 skinning to, to skin them. I'll kill the Everfall wolves over here then. Until 25. There we go. Alright, let's see what 25 skinning is all about. How bad did they nerf this place? 20 rawhide, that's not that big of a nerf, actually. Yeah, for a solo player like me, Awful's Grotto is probably still meta, at least for my level. Okay, I think we're done here, and I was definitely wrong. The Awful Grotto got nerfed to hell. It's not really the quantity of the rawhide you get that they nerfed, it's the respawn time. Like, it, I feel like I was walking around for three minutes before one respawn, so I'm gonna have to find a new spot. Leave a spot in the comments if you know of a good low level rawhide spot, but hold on, let me get this life note really quick and we'll check how much I got. Okay, 882. That'll make me about 220 coarse hides, and I uh, have about 80 in the bank, so we're good. Let's see if it's enough. We have, I think, 70, 86 in the bank. Okay, we're more than good. Let's see how much coarse leather we get from this. Oh, yeah, doesn't matter. We're good. Okay, not sure what this is going to get me to, but 86 treated wood fishing poles. Let's get this engineering XP. Not entirely sure what this got me to, but early on I saw the level sparks go off, so we're 25. Let's see. 56 engineering? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? We're straight to steel tools already. Oh my god, yeah, I'm way over encumbered. I'm surprised I can still move, but dude, that is huge. I was expecting like, I don't know, mid-30 engineering. I thought I was going to have to do another trip of materials, but no, straight away we can make steel tools. I do have to go make the steel ingot still, but oh, that's such a relief. Yeah, 340% gathering speed on a base steel sickle compared to 208%. Like, iron to steel is a massive upgrade, and that is so realistic because in games they usually make iron and steel the same. It's not. 
in real life iron and steel are completely different. <laughs> okay, so out of the 86 fishing poles I made, this was the only one to have a Colossus number two on it. The rest of them were Colossus number one, and this was also a freshwater Colossus. So that's extremely good. We're just gonna use this fishing pole. Also, I just remembered that reaching level 25 unlocked faction missions for us in Brightwood, which is pretty good tokens and XP. I do need to work on my faction rating a little bit, so I'll be getting into that later. But for now, let's make, actually I have more iron ore. Let's do this and then make those steel ingots really quick and we can go make a nice set of steel tools. Damn, that is a lot of smelting XP for steel ingots. All right, I'll stop if I get a good one, but let's start off with logging axes. No, durability. Durability. I'm gonna have to go mine more steel, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Alacrity and XP, that's really good. I was hoping for yield, but maybe we'll get lucky on the uh, other tools. Oh, there we go. Efficiency and Alacrity. Oh my god, that's gonna be so nice for hemp. And then we have three rolls for the pickaxe to get something decent. No durability. Oh well. Also, I forgot we're level 25 now, so we can wear our first ring, which is a focus ring we got from a quest. Lock this amulet, that's too good. Don't want to scrap that on accident. But yeah, huge boost to the stats now. 13 more focus out of nowhere. Oh, another recipe, let's go. Come on, please be relevant. Please be relevant. Constitution and focus, oh, that's a really good one. What is this, grilled poultry with saffron rice? Um, is this rice? No, that's salt. Oh, look at that, you guys. Our first item with luck on it. It's a medium chest plate with relevant stats. Um, I could... I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna scrap that. I could definitely find a way to shuffle it into my gear. I do have to stay high end to medium, though, but... It's a good find. Finally, some luck. Oh, baby, that's an upgrade. Oh, yeah. Ancient Ward Con Focus over some strength. Forget it. I don't need the strength. That is... And it puts us right at 22.9. Optimal gear setup right here. Oh, life staff of the sentry. We might have an upgrade. Oh, a definite upgrade. Yeah, that's a total of two more stats. Relevant stats. Okay. Well, there we go. Brand new life staff. Has a nice shiny silver coat to it. Oh, another recipe. Deep fried poultry. Another chicken recipe, let's see what this one gives. Focus and Dex, ooh, that's that's arguably the most useless one in the game right there. I've been doing a lot of faction missions from Brightwood and we're up to level 27, but I thought I would take a break and try out an iron mining route in Cutlass Keys that I saw on YouTube. And it was really good. I got 1500 iron ore in like 20 minutes or something. I wasn't even that familiar with the route. But my mining, we're up to level 75 mining. So I'm probably going to go try to refine these into steel and try my luck at some more steel pickaxes because I'm honestly not that happy with this one. Okay, actually before I roll all of these pickaxes, let's roll a few skinning knives. Like, let's do three. Three steel skinning knives. If we get a good one, so be it. Looking for yield. Uh, luck and alacrity. You know, it's gonna have to do. This is the rest of them are going on pickaxes. Make 13. Efficiency and alacrity. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I love that combination. Oh my god, this durability is gonna give me a headache. Yield and azoth extraction. Okay, can we get a little better? I'll take the yield and azoth extraction, if nothing else. And nah. No, no, nothing else, but. We got one with yield. I can't be too mad. What level is our engineering at? 68. Another successful iron mining trip has been done up to 82 mining. I tried a different route that had way more variety along the way and look how efficient this was. Look at all this mode I got. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit of a dilemma. I forgot that making steel ingots required flux and obviously as an iron man I can't buy the flux so no more rolling steel pickaxes for now, so I guess the new plan is just to try to finish off 100 mining or 18 levels off. It's going to be close, but I think I can get it tonight, and then tomorrow I'll just spend most of my day looting those small chests so I can get the shell dust flux from those. Or sand flux, not even shell dust flux. That's not until the next territory. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Well, that's our first furnishing schematic. We got a Maritime Velvet Stool. 
jagged animal thing. I just skinned a bear. Is that the one for Keen? Or no, it's a jagged animal claw. Oh, this is skinning luck, though. Stupid ones like this are actually going to be useful for this account. That's the funny thing. Truly no such thing as a bad craft mod when you're on an Iron Man. But yeah, you see what I mean about this iron mining route? Over there, two dragon glories. Over there, two more dragon glories. There's a, is that a bear or a wolf? That's a wolf, but there's also a bear over there, and I'm getting tons of rawhide. 150 rawhide while I do this. It's like an all-in-one route. It's incredible. I'm definitely going to farm this for many, many, many hours this week. Oh my god, no way. We got a Skinner shirt. Dang, this bear died <laughs> laying on the rock. Ew, that tongue is very unnecessarily detailed. Oh, level 28 from that iron ore. 95 mining, by the way. We're getting close. So that was our first level 100 skill, which ended up being smelting. Where is it? Down here. 100 smelting, which unlocks star metal ingots for us. So when we get that mining level, we can definitely get straight to work. Just have to get the engineering, weaponsmithing, and armoring level if I want to use them on armor. But that's fine. Anyway, what I want to show you guys is this cool storage trick I learned. I guess this was an update that I didn't hear about. But check this out. If we go to Windsward, because I can't store these iron ingots. My storage shed is full. Take out all the junk that's taking up space, go somewhere else, and you can just bank it there. Before, you could only withdraw from territory to territory, but now you can also deposit. Oh boy, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yep, there we go, 100 mining, star metal ore unlocked. It's really funny though that most star metal routes I can't even do because the monsters will like two-shot me. So, maybe I got it a bit too early, but... Glad to have it done, because star metal weapons, tools, and armor are very nice on an Iron Man. Honestly, I think mining stone to 100 would have been faster than doing that iron route I did, but as an Iron Man, in the macro efficient sense, nothing could have been better than that route. I almost got 2,000 iron ingots from getting 100 mining. We secured a bunch of coarse leather, and look at this moat. I mean, not all of it is from there, but a good chunk, especially of the fire moat. I was going pretty far out of my way to stock up on fire mode. It's like the most useful one. I forgot about the material converters you can get from the faction shop. That's another way I can get flux. Uh, we need one common material converter and then 20 of any of these to make 15. And there's a three gold tax, so it's not that expensive. I think I'm gonna pick some of those up. I don't think they cost any coins, just faction tokens. All right, let's check it out. And I think I'm capped on faction tokens anyway. Yeah, 15,000, I'm at the cap. Let's see, common material converter, no coins, 100 tokens, let's pick up 20. We're almost at 5,000 gold since we don't use it on anything, so I am more than happy to get rid of some of it. I'll convert about half of all the materials I have. I think this is everything we need for this huge steel ingot smelt we're about to do. Over 600 steel ingots. And I'm sorry for showing you guys every piece of charcoal and every single iron ingot I've been making, but I just want to be extra sure that I'm showing you guys that it is all done Iron Man style. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing that or not. Personally, I think it would be annoying as a viewer, but I guess that's up to you guys. Anyway, let's uh, do this smelt. Oh yeah, bonus 114 and then it's 2 and 6, so I need about 2100 star metal ore. Woo wee that's going to be a big task, but uh, maybe we should go try to mine some. Actually a good amount of star metal ore that nobody had mined along this bridge in Weaver's Fen where all the star metal ore is. Like three nodes were taken, but for the most part we got most of it. 277, so I imagine... If I just be vigilant and look out for star metal ores, I'm doing the main quest here. We should be pretty close to that 2100 mark. Okay, if I can kill this bear or not, is basically going to decide if I can progress through this main quest.
Okay. Not that hard with the Paladin build. Oh, we just got a green Jasper from that. That is really freaking good. Next time I get a Warhammer upgrade, I'm going to be using that Jasper. Because it's better than I gave it credit for. Sure, it's really good in PvP, but as a 1v1 scrapper like, like I am with mobs, since I have low damage, since I'm a Paladin, I'm usually in combat for a while, and a Jasper would get way more uptime than the diamond I'm using right now. So that Jasper is a huge snag. I need to get a, a Warhammer upgrade so I can use it. Oh, ho our first purple drop on the account. We just killed a mini boss for a quest. Matthias the Trader, I think. Storm Journey's Token. Never heard of this before. What is this? Refreshing Toast and Nimble. Oh my god, that's a really good earring. Too bad it's dexterity. But like, dang, those are top tier perks. I've barely been questing. I've just been going up and down that bridge so much. Let's see how far we are. Oh god, almost 1600 star metal ore. I freaking love Weaver's Fen. Getting 100 mining before coming here was such a good idea. We're currently 113 right now. Not quite sure where I got them, but we have one hell of a pants upgrade right here. Strength Focus Ancient Ward. Throw those straight on. Just look what we've been doing while requesting. Star Metal, Death Note, Oil. Gonna turn in some faction missions and hit level 30 here. The first three faction missions of the day, you get a huge XP boost. 2.5k, 2.4k. Yeah, so let's turn those in, and I still have one more bonus for the day. But halfway to max level, level 30. This is my third day playing the account. I could honestly be level 60 by now if I just did town boards, but honestly, playing the game as a game, it's fun. <laughs> it's more fun than doing town boards. What's the rush? Oh, we got the ring. Is this the luck one? Yep, luck, keen awareness, constitution. Holy Crap, that's better. It used to have double luck. This was the bug drink that had double luck, but they put keen awareness on it. That's fine with me because I have zero crit chance and honestly it's kind of annoying. So as soon as we hit level 37, I'm throwing that on. What a view, huh? This is a nice star metal location up here. Pretty sure we're done with the star metal grind now. 621, okay, 2.6k. You have no idea how important it is to be on a low pop server when you're doing an Iron Man. This was not that hard to get. That's pretty awesome. Happy with that. Anyway, we'll be making and using those ingots next episode. I do have to call it here. This one's already going to be pretty long as it is. So I'm going to get into editing and maybe just mining some more star metal. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you enjoyed it. Peace.